Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing an everyday makeup tutorial, an updated one. I would like to thank Casetify for sponsoring this video. But yeah, I'm going to be doing an updated everyday makeup tutorial because a lot of people have been asking for one and I haven't done one in probably a year and a lot has changed. Not a lot, a lot, but like a lot product wise. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to start by putting these bangs up. Dude, I look so different without bangs. Also, I recently just got my wisdom teeth taken out. So if my face looks more swollen, that's definitely why. Also, I have mashed potatoes. It's kind of disgusting because I've been eating mashed potatoes only basically for like a week. Did my voice just crack or is that just how I sound? I don't know. But what are you going to do? So I'm going to start with brows. Honestly, I don't give up about my brows anymore. Um, I used to care about what they looked like, and now I just don't, mostly because of my bangs, and also I just don't have time most of the time, I just don't want to do them, so I just use a brow pencil, and it depends on the look I'm doing. If I'm doing my everyday look, I don't do them, like I don't put that much effort into them, I just do like a little bit of brow pencil and that's it. But if I do an eyeshadow look, I usually do the whole shebang, like so, brow, gel, brow pencil, concealer, whatever. So I literally just comb them up and then I use the bomb brow pencil and then I just kind of go like this mostly at the bottom and then I just brush it up with the comb and then that's literally it I just end up doing brow gel at the end here's the deal so I usually just do eyeliner and no eyeshadow but recently I've been doing my eyeliner with eyeshadow just because I want that little smoky look. So that's what I'm going to be filming today just because it's a little bit more difficult than normal eyeliner, which you probably have seen a million tutorials for. But if you guys are curious about what eyeliner I typically use when I just do black eyeliner, it's the Urban Decay Perversion one. It's amazing for that. I also use the House Laboratories one, which is a lot cheaper. Or actually, not a lot cheaper. I think it's like $5 cheaper. But So this is what the House Laboratories one looks like. And the pen is pretty big. This is what that looks like. And the Pat McGrath one's also super good. It's more similar to the pa House Laboratory one. <laughs> and this is the Urban Decay one. And it's smaller. And it's a brush tip, which is why I like it a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and start by doing my eyes because I always do my eyes first. And I'm going to be using just this concealer I have, which is the Too Faced one. And then I'm going to use the ColourPop Little Ray of Sunshine palette that looks like this. And I'm also going to use these three brushes. For shadow eyeliner, I like to use angled ones, obviously. And then just a small one to buff out the, like, the whole thing. Um, I'll show you that as I go along. But I'm going to start by priming my eyelids. I'm going to start by doing the darkest shade, and then I'm going to use the sharpest angle brush I have. And this is the shade I'm going to use, it's called Sun Giant. And this is the shade I'm going to use to outline the whole liner. And I'm just going to start from the bottom lash line and kind of go out like that. And then I'm going to bring it in, not from the end, but kind of from the middle. and start to pack it in. And with eyeliner, I like it to be super big. So I make sure that in the middle, it goes out like this. And bring it into the inner corner. Okay, so once I have the kind of shape I want. I'm just going to blend the top out to make it look smoky with this kind of neutral shade. It's called Bliss Out. I'm pointing at it right there. <laughs> and I'm just going to use this little brush and pack that on and blend out the top. And you can always just fix the bottom by going like that. Literally. Also with the top, I'm going to blend out that concealer so there's no crease. And I'm going to get this light shade 
and tap that up there with this big brush. And that also kind of helps blend out the transition shade a little bit. And then I'm going to go back in with the darker shade and just go over the whole shape so I can keep blending it. Okay, so for this next part, you can use any gel liner you want, but personally, I just use a dark brown one. A black would also be good if you want more of a smokier type look. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use a brown liner from ColourPop. It's this one. It's from their Sunflower collection as well. And I'm just going to be using that on my lash line. And I'm going to blend it out with the eyeshadow. It's a little bit darker than the, than the brown. And I'm going to get try to get really close. And I'm just going to smoke that out with the darker shade again. I'm going to use the lashes from A-M-B-T... No. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. A-M-B-U-T-L lashes. And it's in the style Honey. They look like this. They're super pretty. I'm just ripping the old glue off because that's the kind of girl I am. Also with lashes and this look particularly, make sure you're putting them like not too close to your inner corner. Okay, I'm actually gonna talk about Casetify for a couple minutes. As I said before, this video is sponsored by Casetify, and I love Casetify. Like, I love them so much. So I'm gonna show you all the cases I have from Casetify because I just wanna show you all the kinds of designs they have. Um, this is my favorite that I have. It's a bunch of butterflies. It's so pretty. I love it. It goes with, like, everything. I also love them because they're really protective, and you can customize your own cases, which I think is insane because it's like really good protection for your phone and also you can make it your own. So these are the customized ones I have, which I think y'all like. So these are both Harry Styles inspired because I love Harry Styles. Also my face is puffy, it's fine. You can choose the type of style of case and then color and if you want text on it and a bunch of stuff. This is the first one I have, it's clear. It's more of one of the simple designs. And it has a really pretty like rim and it says Trippy World Kindness. And then I have this one which is a little bit more hefty. And it says Volume 6 for Sunflower Volume 6 because there's flowers, you know. You get it? And I'm going to drop my phone to show y'all how protective they are. And I have hardwood floors in my hallway. So let's go to my hallway. Okay, so I'm going to drop it from up here. You can't really see. Did you see that? But... Oh, there's a picture of me. I'm so conceited. <laughs> My phone. My phone is fine. And the case is fine. Oh, look, it looks so pretty there. <laughs> so if you guys want to buy your own case or customize one or just get any kind of case from them, you can use the link in the description and it'll be on the screen to get 20% off your first order. It's www.casetify.com slash rachelcan2. I forgot to mention that. So yeah, that's the end of this sponsored portion of the video, but thank you Casetify for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to put my phone away now so I'm not distracted. So I'm going to go ahead and do my face makeup now. I'm going to start by moisturizing because I haven't done that yet. I usually do that beforehand, but since I forgot, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. Oh my god, that felt so weird on my gums. <laughs> Oh my god, my gums are sore. That's just like the other thing for you to complain about. Like, I already have so many things. Add to the list, girl. But you guys, I've been getting into crystals lately. I've always liked crystals just because they're super pretty, but I've been getting into buying them for like the qualities and stuff. So if any of you guys do the same thing, please let me know because I'm really interested in learning about them. I'm obviously going to do my own research too. Look at my arm. I look so many right now. I saw my wrist! Mashed potato time. Also, I'm gonna be doing a recreating Euphoria makeup looks for a whole week soon. Like after I post this one, that'll be the next video I upload. And I'm so excited. If you guys have any specific looks you guys want me to do, um, you can tweet me or just send me a DM or anything. And I will definitely take that into account when I'm filming, because I have a week to film, obviously. I've actually just been using one primer, you guys! Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Um, that's insane. I've been using the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer 
this stuff is stunning. I think it just does everything for me. And I don't need a pore filling primer with this. Like one time I used this and I usually use it with the e.l.f. Um, putty primer thingy. And I forgot it one day and I was like, oh no. But then I was like, I used this and I was like, it looks the same though. Like it's just stunning. Like it's just doing the damn thing. It's just doing it. Now I'm using the Fresh AF from ColourPop or the Fourth Ray branch of ColourPop. I do use the Fenty still, but I've been using the Bite Beauty Change Maker foundation in the shade L20 and then the Morphe Skin Tint in shade Hint of Creme. These two together are really good. I like to use a foundation with the skin tint because I feel like it makes your foundation like automatically more glowy um, and it also like. I just definitely didn't know what to say next. What? That's like never happened to me before. I always have something to say. And then I do a little bit of foundation. The majority of my face makeup is the skin tints I use. I also use another one, but it's more expensive. So I just been showing this one. Oh my God, the jiggling from my bracelets. <sighs> oh my God, that's so annoying. Music time. my gums <laughs> and then I go on with my cream contour I use the Fenty Beauty cream one in honey glazed and then I'm gonna go in with the Colourpop pretty fresh hyaluronic concealer in the shade fair 05 warm and then I'm gonna go in with the Born This Way Too Faced Concealer in the shade Swan. I do this one first. Even though it's lighter, it doesn't really make any sense. But I feel like it's more mattifying, but hydrating at the same time. So I like to use it as a base. I like how I say base for my concealer. Like That's not a thing, but it is for me. I just used the Too Faced one. To kind of cover up my dark circles, I don't really put it anywhere else. Maybe a little bit on my nose, but that one's more for coverage. Okay, and then I used a pressed powder. I'm going to use this e.l.f. sponge, and then I'm going to use this Bite Beauty powder in the shade Light 1. I'm going to press that in. I'm only going to press it into the areas that I'm going to bake on. And then I'm going to bake with the Milk Makeup Blurring Loose Powder. And as that's baking, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze because I don't leave it on there for too long. I'm gonna use the Pixie by Petra Summer Glow Palette. And I'm gonna use this top shade right here to bronze. I wipe off most of the bake when I do bronzer. My jawline. Oh, the jiggling is kind of driving me insane. And I just contour my nose like this with the same stuff. And then I do blush. I've been using the ColourPop blush in Desert Rose, which looks like this. It's kind of shimmery as well. And I just put that on my high points. And I just put that right here. I don't bring it in as much as I used to, just because I feel like this is more like, you know. Still use a lot of it. Still use a lot of it, but I just, Placement's different, it's the only difference. And then I'm gonna use the Pixi Highlight in Subtle Sunrise. I don't put a lot on my cheeks though, cause the blush already has shimmer. And then I'm gonna use the Artiste Couture Highlight in Coco Bling and do that in my inner corner and my nose. And then for lip liner, I'm going to use the Kylie lip liner in Caramel, Caramel. Then I use either a chapstick or like a gloss or something. We're not done yet though. We gotta do the lower lash line, you guys. Hold on, hold on. For lower lash line, I start by using the same brown liner I used at the top. 
and I put that right underneath my waterline. And it's gonna look kind of whack at first, but trust the process. Like that, I don't bring it in all the way. And then I blend it out with this fluffy angled brush and I use the darker brown and I kind of blend that out. And then I use the transition shade I used with the fluffy brush and then go over all that. You just do lower lash on mascara and you're done. Okay, and that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. And thank you again to Face to Five for sponsoring this video. It means a lot. And it means a lot that you guys watch this video and just watch me in general. And I appreciate it a lot. So thank you guys. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.